Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's time to story time with Mr. Julio. Yes, and today we have the number four of Mr. Man Collection by Roger Hargraves. Today we are going to know who is Mr. Noshi. Mr. Noshi liked to know about everything that was going on. He was always poking his nose into other people's business. Mr. Nosey was the sort of a person who, if he came upon an unlocked door, couldn't resist looking through the keyhole to see why the door had been locked. Mr. Nosey was the sort of a person who, if he found an unopened letter addressed to somebody else, would simply have to open it to find out what was inside. Mr. Nosey was the sort of a person who, if he was sitting reading his paper on a train, would much rather read the paper of the person sitting next to him. Naturally, as you might well imagine, Mr. Nosey was not very popular. People didn't like the way in which Mr. Nosey would pick and pry into their affairs. They didn't like it at all, but did that stop Mr. Nosey picking and prying? It didn't. Mr. Nosey lived in a funny, tall, thin house in a place called Tiddletown. The people of Tiddletown decided that Mr. Nosey was becoming much too nosy, and so they held a meeting to discuss what to do about him. We must find some way of stopping him being so nosy, said old Mr. Chips, the town carpenter. That's right, said Mrs. Washer, who ran the Tiddletown laundry. He needs to be fuck a lesson. If only we could think of a way to stop him poking his nose into everything, said Mr. Brass, the painter. And then a small smile spread over his face. Listen, he said, now grinning, I have a plan. All his friends gathered around to listen to his plan. The following morning, Mr. Nosey was out walking along Tiddleton House streets when he heard somebody whistling behind one of the closet doors. I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself, and tiptoeing up to the door, he quietly opened it and peeped in. Splash! Went a very wet paint brass right on the end of Mr. Nose's nose, covering it with bright red paint. Oh dear, I'm sorry, said Mr. Brass, who was painting the inside of the door. Poor Mr. Nosey had to go straight home to try and remove the red paint, which was very difficult and rather painful. Mr. Brush chuckled to himself. The plan had begun. The following day, Mr. Nosey was walking past the laundry when he heard somebody laughing on the other side of the wall. I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself, and... Standing on tiptoe, he looked over the wall. A snap! <laughs> Went a clothes peg right on the end of Mr. Nose's nose. Oh dear, I'm sorry, says, said Mrs. Washer, who was hanging up clothes on a washing line on the other side of the wall. Poor Mr. Nosey removed the clothes pack 
and went off down the street, feeling extremely sorry for himself and for his poor red nose. Mrs. Washer chuckled to herself. The plan was working. The next day, Mr. Nosey was going past a fence when he heard hammering. I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself, and creeping very quietly to the end of the fence, he peeped around. Bang! Went a hammer right on the end of Mr. Nosey's nose. Oh dear, I'm sorry, said old Mr. Chips, who was nailing up a loose plank in the fence. Poor Mr. Nosey had to go home immediately and bandage his poor red sore nose. Mr. Chips grinned a broad grin. The plan was working very well indeed. The following day, Mr. Nosey was walking in the boots when he heard somebody sewing boots. I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself, and he crept up behind a tree. He was just about to peer out from behind the tree when it suddenly occurred to him that if he did, something very nasty might happen to his nose, and so he went on his way without being nosy. Behind the tree, with a sore acid in his hand, stood Mr. Hurt, the farmer. When he saw that Mr. Nosey had gone on his way without being nosy, he laughed and laughed and laughed. The plan had worked. Mr. Hurt hurried into Tiddle Town to tell everybody. The plan really had worked because after that, Mr. Nosey stopped being nosy and soon became very good friends with everybody in Tiddle Town. And that is the end of the story, except to say that if you are ever tempted to be as nosy as Mr. Noshi used to be, you'd better spat one thing. A sore nose! Thank you so much and bye-bye with the next Mr. Man story.